So next up is the installation of uh, the IDE that we want to use, the integrated development environment. Uh, this one is made uh, by a company called JetBrains and it's called SeaLion. So let's uh, go ahead and download it first. So uh, uh, the uh, URL is jetbrains.com and then slash SeaLion. And uh, that brings us to the uh, website and um, then uh, we can um, go directly to uh, download from here and uh, it comes uh, with an evaluation as, as you can see here but uh, you can um, uh, register uh, with your KYSU EDU uh, email address and they will give you a um, um, free educational license that uh, uh, is good for as long as you are a student. So let's download this. And uh, allow this. Uh, this is where you uh, can uh, sign up for uh, uh, the license and uh, everything. So uh, well, we're not going to do this. I already have, of course, um, a uh, license that I can use. So we'll just wait for the download to finish. So that's uh, that, so we can open up the installer. And scan the easy drag and drop installer. So let's just go ahead and um, drag and drop this into the applications folder. Once this is done, we can close the installer and eject it and put it in the trash. And uh, so and we have uh, C-Line available now in our applications folder and we should be seeing it right here. So let's uh, start it up. And as always, uh, macOS is concerned about our safety, so we'll just tell it however to open it anyways. And um, no settings to, install, to import because this is a brand new installation. Uh, here is the uh, license agreement. So we continue and accept the license. Uh, we don't want to send usage statistics. And uh, here we are in the customization. Um, uh, in the customization uh, 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 screen and uh, I will pick the light because it's easier for a video. Of course you can use the dark uh, mode if you prefer that. There is actually a plug-in that you can install that follows the system-wide settings on the dark mode uh, if you want to. But um, okay, so again the uh, default um, plugins are just fine for the time being. Um, you can always go back and change that and install um, Additional ones here you can see you get additional um, language integration, which uh, may be useful or not. Uh, so again, we'll just stick with the defaults for now and just start uh, up a C line. So here's where you can um, 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 either use the uh, free evaluation or you can actually enter your uh, license code. So uh, let me just go ahead and um, do the uh, um, evaluation uh, real quick. And um, so we can uh, continue and have now our ID available for us. Um, the uh, nice thing about um, C Line is that it uses CMake as its um, uh, default uh, project. Uh, file format. So um, it plays very, very well with CMake, as you can see. Um, also, um, on macOS, it's a lot easier than on Windows to configure the toolchain because it's going to actually um, 
you know, the compiler tool chain that is. So it's going to just uh, default uh, to the um, Xcode uh, compiler tool chain, which is all good and well. Um, and um, so, uh, and we are good to go. Uh, it, as you can see here, it uses a bundled version of CMake, which is also absolutely fine. Uh, we could, if we wanted to, point it to the installation that we have, but um, uh, both of these uh, um, CMake versions are so close together that uh, in practicality, it really doesn't matter which one we use. So we uh, can start using CLine. And uh, that's that on, uh, as I said, on, on uh, Mac OS, it's a lot easier than uh, on Windows. And uh, we could uh, now actually create a new project or uh, get one from source control. But uh, that's for uh, uh, one of the next steps. So uh, right now, CLine is up and running and working.